Hey guys, Weapon Game here, bringing in a video for our Weapon Blueprint series, and today we're going to be covering the Clean and Agent Bundle. So what you get with this bundle, we're going to go over the weapons and the operator here. So this is available here, you can see in shop for 1800 COD points as of yesterday, which was Sunday the 25th, I believe. So again, this comes with the Purge Operator Skin for Kruger. You also get the Collateral Blueprint for the AK-47, turning it into an AKS-74U. You get the Decomposer Submachine Gun for the Bison. You get the Outside the Circle Calling Card. Fury Filter Emblem, and the Contagion Vehicle Skin. So again, all this is available here in Season 6 in store for 1,800 COD points. So let's go ahead now, we'll back out and take a look at, here you can see the Collateral Blueprint for the AK-47 turned into the 74U. Let's take a look at the, the weapons, but mainly let's take a look at the Operator himself first here for Kruger. So if I take a look at this, you can see this is the new skin for Kruger called the Purge. Now, this is, being that Kruger is Austrian, this seems to be an Austrian Special Forces, the Yaga Command. So this seems to be some sort of heavy frag suit. I can't nail down the specifics as to which it is, but you can see it definitely looks like a heavy frag suit here, as well as he has the armor you can see going up covering uh, right below his chin there with the gas mask as well as what looks like an L LZSH helmet, perhaps. Uh, you can see the battery in the back there is covered for that would go to the nods. You also see the nod mount, as well as a GoPro mount there on the helmet itself. Looks like he's got the contacts, and again, just the gas mask filter there as well for this. Again, Yaga Command is Austrian Special Forces, or hunt Hunting Command is what it stands for, or the translation to English. And again, you can see just a heavy frag suit. We see... Uh, a couple operators here that do have skins for the heavy frag suits. One of our specialized operators, I can't think of the name right off the bat, does have a heavy frag suit as well. But you can see the frag suit. You can see his rig, tactical rig there. You can see the heavy armor. You can see the uh, the radio mounts there on the chest. You can also see the AK mags there on his left-hand side. He's got a couple stacks of AK-74 mags, which go nice with the weapon that it comes with here. He's got those uh, brown polymer AK-74 mags with the 5.5 by 39. He's got the pistol mount, smoke grenades, scissors. We can. The good thing about this, we can zoom in too. You can see the AK mags there, scissors, and then obviously maybe a spare helmet here in the back. Some other gear, technical gear going on. But you can see, we just rotate again. You can see the heavy armor for the frag suit here, and you can see the Chimera emblem there on his left shoulder. So that is the purge operator skin for Kruger, Austrian Special Forces Yaga Command. Let's go ahead and back out now and just do one more look at this here from the full body perspective. You can see really awesome looking skin here. Uh, one of the better skins, I think this really definitely fits in line with a Milsim skin here for season six, which have been pretty sick, pretty scarce here in this season. So it's nice to see some Milsim skins here. If I go ahead and back out, we'll go back to the weapon bundles here, take a look at these, and then we'll compare them to the base models. What we have first off is the AKS-74U, or the collateral blueprint, so we'll go ahead and inspect this. What I'll do first is just strip this down to base, so you can see what this looks like bare. Good thing about this is it comes with the AK-12 uh, pistol grip on there. We have a uh, stamp instead of a milled receiver, we have the rib dust cover, and then when you strip everything down, you get the black polymer uh, handguard, as well as the buttstock on the weapon as well so for attachments we're gonna first off go with the i believe it's the pbs4 let me see what it came with here actually because i kind of forgot off the bat so let's go ahead and view it one more time if i go ahead in here and find this so collateral so okay so it does actually come with this is a unique attachment for this it comes with a lightweight suppressor you can see the difference here with the collateral and the lightweight suppressor right so it looks the same and you can see there it's just going to give you sound suppression and the cons being damage range but again we have a lightweight suppressor there. Now, if we change the barrel to the short 8.1 or the AKS-74U barrel, we are going to get, you can see the lightweight suppressor changes to more of a Western model lightweight suppressor. So you can see that there. It changes only for this particular barrel. If I were to do any other barrel length on this weapon, it's going to go to the fat can on there for the uh, lightweight suppressor that we're used to with the AK. So that's an interesting attachment combo right there. Now, obviously, the short stock here is, or the short handguard here the barrel is going to give you the aks 74u it's going to improve our ads speed and our movement speed the cons of the bullet velocity and the recoil control on this weapon so go ahead and select that we'll skip out on the laser as well as the optic now for the stock we have a nice interesting uh cosmetic change here kind of for the FFS, fss close quarter stock this is going to improve your ads speed the cons here being the aiming stability you can just see 
the difference between these again it's going to be more in line with the steel curtain or the ak 12 type buttstock that we see on the steel curtain there so you can see that not quite an ak12 buttstock but again just a different version of this particular buttstock switches it up a little bit from what we're used to on the steel curtain so it's nice to see another blueprint with that type of model of the buttstock and then for the ammunition the last attachment here is going to be the 545 round so again this is going to change the caliber conversion to 762 by 39 to 545 by 39 the pros being the fire rate and recoil control cons are the damage as well as the range so Again, take a look at the magazines here. You can see you have quite a, we have quite a lot of uh, nice 545 magazines here. This is probably one of the better ones, I would say, next to the Black Cat and maybe uh, maybe do the Voted Black Bear also good. But the Collateral, really nice looking magazine there. Just wish we had a 45 or even a 60 round casket mag here for the 505 rounds. But that's the final version of this blueprint for the Collateral. No major changes to the AKS-74U really that we're not used to at this point. We have the dovetail mount on the left-hand side there for optics. And again, rib dust cover stamp receiver. Nothing too special about this blueprint besides the uh, the barrel and the suppressor combination giving you a different cosmetic lightweight suppressor on the weapon. So switching gears going to the Bison. So we have the decomposer here. If we go ahead and strip this down again, all these are missing one attachment. So you can definitely fill these in. First off, we're going to go with the muzzle. We're going to go ahead and do the muzzle brake. So this is going to assist with the recoil stabilization. The cons are the ADS speed and the aiming stability. We're going to leave the base barrel. We're going to go ahead and throw on that tack laser. So that's, again, going to assist with the ADS speed, aiming stability, and the aim walking steadiness. The con here is just that the laser will be visible when you're ADSing. So just be careful when and where you're doing that. Optics, we're going to go with that Cobra Sight or the Viper, as it's known here in game. And again, it's just going to give you a precision sight picture. I believe it's a one and a half time magnification similar to the holographic and the other red dot type sights. So we'll go ahead and and select that and you can see just the differences there between the base and the decomposer it just gives you a darker version then the final attachment for this we're going to go with the butt stock is going to be the corvus custom skeleton stock so it's going to help us with the aim walking movement speed and the aim down sight speed the only con is the aiming stability and you can see again the difference here really just kind of a color difference nothing crazy but again it is a nice zeneco type looking stock so those are our, our final blueprints. Now, just switching gears here. Again, you missing one attachment there, so you can really throw on whatever you want. For the AK, I would recommend an underbarrel grip just because it's really hard to control the recoil with that weapon, even with a 545 by 39 round. It's still an AR round in a very short, compact barrel, so you definitely want some sort of uh, underbarrel foregrip on there. Now, you can just see if I switch gears, these are the same weapons at base using no blueprints with the same attachments so we have the AKS-74U and the PP-19 Bison so you can see there major differences nothing crazy with the uh, the AK obviously we're going from a milled receiver and a non ribbed dust cover so a whole different receiver and everything I guess it is major changes but we've seen a lot of this before for both of these we have the polymer handguard uh, AK-12 buttstock we have a new or excuse me polymer uh, pistol grip and handguard we have a new magazine, new lightweight suppressor, and new buttstock. Now for the Bison there, you have a lot of different changes here, which I'm hoping we see on the AK at some point. It kind of baffles me at, where at this point in the game, we don't have these type of attachments or cosmetic changes to the AK. But you can see here, where we are adding, we've seen this with other blueprints also in the past. So this isn't the first time we've seen this. We're adding a Picatinny rail dust cover on the weapon. So you had the full length Picatinny rail dust cover. You can see the, the optics there at the halfway point where the gas block starts all the way to the end of the barrel. We also have the change in the buttstock for color purposes, nothing crazy cosmetically, but again, it is a Zeneco type buttstock. We have the AK-12 pistol grip on this weapon, and we also have the whole receiver is a little bit different as well. We have the select fire is now different. You can see there right above the pistol grip on the left and right side, completely ambidextrous. We also have an RK Zeneco RK-1 charging handle there is replacing the base charging handle. Again, offers better ergonomics in real life, just easier to pull that charge handle. Um, again, the select fire option is moved on this blueprint from uh, up above where that charger handle is, down below above the pistol grip there. And uh, again, we're adding Picatinny rails on the top, as well as the left and right side where we have also our tack laser mounted. So we're adding full length Picatinny's left, right, and top on this blueprint. Again, a lot of changes here. We should be seeing on the AK at this point with a rip, with a uh, Texas weapon system type. Picatinny rail dust cover, maybe a Zeneco buttstock, a different handguard as well, but the mainly also uh, an Arc Zeneco RK1 charger handle. It's kind of crazy that we have it on this, the Dragonov and uh, the PKM. So all Russian weapons minus the AK, which is arguably the most popular hands down in the world, 
and we don't have modernized attachments on that which is very unfortunate but again you can see those changes just by selecting up and down and then you can see also how our operator Kruger here looks or the Jaeger command skin on him looks with the AKS 74U so overall I think really good blueprints really good bundle definitely worth the 1800 COD points here we jump into the gameplay show you two show you guys how these two weapons work um, the AK again a little underwhelming with the attachments I would re highly recommend some sort of underbarrel attachment on this for a grip perhaps a ranger or even a merc foregrip i would even recommend the operative foregrip oddly enough it actually does a really good job of mitigating recoil on standard barrel length ak's in the game i'm not too sure about the short barrel ak here but we'll have to wait and see i do like the color schema on these weapons you can really do some nice frankensmithing options with the ak in particular which i'll show off probably in another video down the road we can make some nice weapons especially with that magazine and we have some uh you know the green cover colored receiver which is pretty cool it goes with some different frame smithing options that we can do and it looks pretty nice so we'll have to cover that later on but i think it is really interesting to note we do have i'm not sure if this is a glitch or what but we do have a different lightweight suppressor on the ak with the 8.1 inch aks 74u barrel so i have to wait and see if that ends up getting changed if again if you select any other barrel with that lightweight suppressor for the collateral blueprint it's going to go back to the typical fat can that you're used to on the ak instead of the more westernized type suppressor so i have to see if that's an actual mistake or maybe they they meant to do it not quite sure at this point it's odd that it's only with that combo however i think it is interesting and that would be something cool to see going forward is mixing and matching attachments you get specific cosmetic outcomes with specific attachment combos would be pretty cool maybe they did it on purpose but again we'll have to wait and see uh for the bison i think it's a really nice blueprint again it's nothing special we've seen that blueprint before it's mainly just a uh, color change color schema change on the weapon itself same with the ak we've seen this blueprints before so nothing crazy but overall i think uh they are nice base blueprints if you don't have uh something that you may want to mix and match with for frankensmithing but the big takeaway from this pack is definitely going to be the kruger skin for the Jaeger command frag suit i think this is a really awesome looking skin uh definitely looks really cool on the battlefield and warzone and multiplayer especially if you pair it with some nice weapons you since he is austrian you could go ahead and use like an aug on there would be more fitting which i'm surprised they gave him russian weapons instead of uh austrian weapons but again the operator skin itself is awesome probably one of the one of the better ones if not the best one we've seen here in season six so far i have to sit, wait and see what happens with that but let me know down below what you guys think just let this gameplay run let me know what you think of the weapons overall or the operator skin are you a big fan of this operator skin again it is a milsim type skin uh for basically anti-terrorist units for yaga command with that frag suit we also have the two russian weapons um overall good bundle definitely worth the 800 card points in my opinion Met, not really for the weapons themselves but the operator if you're a fan of kruger if you're going to run kruger a little bit that's definitely a really nice skin again uh it, it is a milsim skin so it is cool to collect that and have that in your arsenal for operator skins as well so that's personal opinion definitely uh don't go and buy it unless you're going to plan on using the operator again the weapons are really nothing special so i don't think it's worth it for the weapons but the operator skin is pretty nice and i do i do like running that and i'll probably be using that a little bit in the future as well so let me know down below what you guys think now we are approaching uh near the end of season six here almost as we get close to or at least the halfway point as we get close to black ops cold war launch have to see what other content they have in store here at the mid-season refresh because we're not we're almost about halfway through the season at this point we haven't seen a few things that were uh, teased in the very beginning of the season have to see what happens also season seven seems to be just about confirmed at this point minus infinity word actually coming out and saying it but it would stand to reason that season seven would be coming we do have some leaked weapons hopefully we get a, G a uh, g28 hopefully we see the fsb bundle come into the season here at some point as it's been pushed back from season four all the way to uh all the way to a i believe season six now at this point so it's been a season four season five and season six so i have to wait and see when we end up getting that particularly a blueprint or the operator skins as well with that pack but let me know down below what you guys think what kind of weapons you want to see in season seven also be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content we live stream at least three days a week here on youtube on wednesdays fridays and sundays uh typically around 7 to 7 30 p.m eastern standard time but let, go ahead and let me know what you guys think of this weapon pack down below go ahead and leave your comments what you want to see for season seven and maybe even here in the rest of season six what kind of new weapons you guys want to see um really hoping they do end up adding the g28 here in season seven as well as i would always like to see as i've been saying since the very beginning of this game i'd really like to see an actual ak-12 and it's really it, it kind of sucks with the uh 
with the Bison blueprint, as well as the Dragonaut blueprint and the PKM blueprints, we have modernized blueprints for all of those weapons, but not for the AK-47. So it definitely is a little bit baffling to me that they decided to put in a original like 1949-1950 production model AK-47 into the game instead of a uh, an AKM, an AK-74, an actual AK-12. Uh, there's there's four, I believe, we're on the fourth generation of AKs at this point, fourth or fifth generation of Kalashnikov rifles, and they decided to put it in Gen 1, which is uh, odd, especially because we've seen the AK-12 in Advanced Warfare and Ghost, and here we are in Modern Warfare 2019, when the AK-12 has been uh, around, at least the prototype version has been around since 2011, and we've had the, the finalized version around, I believe, since 2015 or 16, and they just came out with the Universal Upgrade Kit for the AK-12, the AK-15, and the AK-19 now, and it's yet to be seen here in Modern Warfare, which is kind of weird and uh, a little bit disappointing with the amount of potential we could see with the AKs. I think uh, an AK-12 would boost up the fire rate to, from the slow 600 rounds per minute to around 700 rounds per minute. Modernized attachment, way better handling, uh, better optics. Again, Picatinny rail, dust cover, Picatinny rails on the handguard, just an all-around better rifle. And again, they put in an AK, original AK-47 for whatever reason. We've had the AKM since then. We've had the AK-74 series. We've even had the AK-100 series. And then you can look at the prototypes for the 200, the 107 recoil systems. And then we also have now the AK-400 series or the AK-12, 15, 19, um, and those compact variants of that. So maybe we'll see that in Season 7. Maybe not. Maybe... Uh, I won't hold my breath, but maybe maybe in Modern Warfare 2, they'll decide to put a modernized Kalashnikov rifle in the game. would be nice, but we'll have to wait and see. You can tell that's definitely a sore point with me is because they haven't added that yet, which is which is pretty insane since we have modernized weapons of everything else. They have the HK-433 in the game, which hasn't even been formally adopted by the military in any, any country yet, to my knowledge, even though it will be most likely phasing out and replacing the G36 in Germany. Um, but we don't have a modernized Kalashnikov rifle, which is just, just weird. But we'll have to, let me know down below what you guys think of that. Uh, maybe Infinity Ward and the devs just hate Kalashnikov rifles. <laughs> Who knows? But let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you want to see an actual modernized 4th gen version of the Kalashnikov rifles? Or are you, are you guys good with a uh, 1950s model Gen 1? <laughs> let me know down below. And uh, again, don't hold your breath, but cross your fingers. Not going to wood and maybe we'll get it here in Season 7. Otherwise, perhaps Modern Warfare 2 when that comes out, maybe next year, hopefully. But let me know down below. Leave you guys with that. Leave you guys with some of the gameplays so you can see these two blueprints in action. Till next time. Bye for